Hi all, Technical Evangelist Kurt Chan here, and today I want to talk to you about how we can actually leverage the engrave operation in a different way. If you're unfamiliar with the engrave operation, check out the description below where I've included a couple of links to videos I've done in the past. Also, check out what one of our users, Winston Moy, has done with the engrave operation on his Shapeoko 3. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's take a look at how we're going to machine one of these letter M's on this wooden block. If I hop over to CAM, I've already applied an adaptive clearance strategy just to rough out all that material around the letter M, but one thing that you will notice is that the tool cannot get in between these points to where the M comes together. So if we change the display style, what you'll notice is the tool will stop because it just can't fit within it. So this is where we can actually leverage the engrave operation to get as close as we can to, be, to give us a nice finish here. So the trick on how to leverage it? well. What we're going to do is create a sketch. So hop back over to the model environment. So I'm going to create a new sketch, but on the face of my M. And then from here, create an offset, O for offset. Pick this outer edge, and let's go with 0 0.085. Now, what this will allow us to do is we will keep the chamfer mill we're going to pick for the engrave operation in between these boundaries. So from here, so from here, let's go and exit the sketch and now hop back over to CAM under 2D. Let's drop that and pick the engrave operation. I have a pick my chamfer end mill depending on what size you want to use. I have an eighth inch chamfer end mill. And now for geometry, the contours I'm going to select is the outside sketch I just created as well as the outside edge of the letter M. Right click, say OK, apply that toolpath. Command G does a complete rebuild of all your toolpaths. And for demonstration purposes, I like to turn off the sketches. So under the browser, you could turn off the light bulb to turn off the sketches. If you right click on the setup, click simulate. And let's take a look at how this is gonna look. If I turn on the stock, and now you can actually see the type of finish we're getting. So first it's gonna come down and rough out all the material around the M. Can hop over now to the next strategy. And it's gonna come around now and then give us that nice finish and engrave and fit that tool right in between where that flat end mill couldn't fit. And now you can see we have a better finish as that tool fades in to give us that nice crisp edge for the letter M. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully it was a quick workaround on how to actually work with embossed lettering and leverage the engraved command in a different way. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the description below to see some of the other tips and tricks I did around the engraved command. And thanks for watching.